Howdy. We are on my kitchen floor because I don't want to bring out my ring light. I don't want to get out my tripod. I don't want to do any of that. I've had a lot of things that have been changing. I've had a lot of things that have been happening. Um, so this is just going to be an update video. So if you're, if you don't want to hear about my life and like my health and shit, um, you can just skip this one. Okay, so where do I start? Last time I made a video was at least three months ago. I want to say it was probably before that. Um, as most of you may know, if you follow me on Instagram, I talk about it on my stories. Um, I have been dealing with some health issues since I want to say like late 2021, early 2022 um and i feel like they've just gotten worse ever since i've always had sleep issues i've always needed an absurd amount of sleep to even function during the day um so i would always sleep for like 12 14 hours like even as a teenager it was just normal for me i when i moved in with my partner um he was like yo are you good because i would literally sleep until like four or five at night and i was like no this is just how i am whatever um so he got me to go and see a doctor about that and that was before my chronic pain issues started getting worse um so i had a sleep study done because we were like yo this is a normal why am i sleeping so much and then i kind of came to the realization that my like day-to-day -day life is not normal and what my physical capabilities are it's just not normal for example if i go to the grocery store and that is like the only thing i've done all day like physically i come home and usually rest for like 10-15 minutes and then maybe I can put away groceries maybe and then I have to go lay down that's just going to the grocery store we're literally not even there for an hour if I leave the house for a day if I like go thrift shopping if we go anywhere out of the ordinary if we go shopping I need to sleep when we get home I need to go and lay down because my body hurts and i'm very bad at pinpointing what my pain is exactly so it took me a while to figure out that i was having very severe nerve pain it's actually currently managed i'm on medication for it um and that was like the first thing that gave me any form of like relief um so i have fibromyalgia that is what has been diagnosed so far i'm on medication for that um when i'm not on that it fucking sucks i'm also on adhd medication because you can tell that i have issues um <laughs> so that helps a bit with like some of the pain because uh my doctor was explaining what that can be like a like a what is the word? Like it can also help some physical pain that I have um, as well as my ADHD. But yeah, I still have joint problems. My joints hurt. My knees hurt really, really bad, really bad. So when I have good days, I will say to my partner, I'm like, yeah, I'm not in a lot of pain today. He made me realize that when i'm in when i'm not in pain when i'm not in a lot of pain i haven't done anything i haven't left the couch i haven't left my bed i've barely moved i i haven't done anything I haven't gone up and down the stairs very much that's when i'm having an okay day um that's not normal so i've kind of started paying more attention to my joints and my body and like what hurts and i i have a lot of pain in like my wrists sometimes um the nerves in my hands but that's like 
from my job probably um my lower back like my SI joint it oh, that's bad um my knees specifically my right knee has been giving me problems and sometimes my shoulders sometimes my shoulders I feel like they will slightly like slip out of place um like I'll be like drying my dog's paws off or something or I'll be washing my back in the shower and it'll like kind of make like a grinding noise and then feel weird until I kind of like for a little bit um don't really know how to explain that but yeah times my lower back like my SI joint will hurt to the point where I am on the floor crying and I'm sobbing while I'm trying to fall asleep because I'm in so much pain um and my nerve medication doesn't help with that uh nothing really helps with that i tried a i think it was an arthritis medication um didn't help didn't help my knees didn't help my back none of that um so we're trying to figure out what that is um my body also cracks like a motherfucker uh, whenever I move like actually taking note and like noticing when my body cracks throughout the day has been a real experience for me let me tell you it's a little scary <laughs> so I finally got in to see a rheumatologist um, and I had my first appointment and she was a little bit stumped by me she doesn't think that I am hypermobile um, which was like a big thing that I was kind of leaning towards thinking it was I had some x-rays done um and i got a steroid shot um i go back for a second appointment actually tomorrow when i'm filming this um you'll probably see it after i've already been there but i go back and we will go from there i'm sure there's probably symptoms and other stuff that i'm forgetting um even for a while like when i would go to my doctor like my primary doctor and i would just be like i'm in a lot of pain i wouldn't really elaborate the best um i get kind of nervous in any like medical setting and i kind of will forget things that are important to bring up um so yeah started bringing my partner back with me and he kind of like fills in the gaps because my brain is like doctor's office scary no think ah you know <laughs> yeah i think that's about where i'm at like medical wise i haven't really ever talked about it on here in that much detail but when i have like big gaps in me posting it's because i have life stuff going on and also this um we're trying to figure out what's wrong with me get me to a point where i can kind of function in society that would be kind of nice um, but like right now I can't handle very much at all, which is kind of depressing, but I'm trying to not make it like depressing in this video. Other life stuff, renovated the downstairs portion of our house, a lot of it actually, just like getting flooring put in, um, the kitchen redone. That's been a lot. Uh, renovating an old house is quite fun. There's a lot of unexpected things that go wrong, but we're, we're finally uh, pretty much done. House stuff is done. I get married in almost a month. It's a little over a month still. It's probably like a month and a half, but like shitting my pants. I have a lot to do. That's just scary. I actually was trying out some new makeup stuff today um, to kind of test the like longevity of it for my wedding makeup. Uh. I had my bridal shower back in July and my family came up for that so that was really fun. I got to see them. I guess the last thing I want to talk about is like the social media and what my future looks like in that. Um, I took a break a couple months ago from, I don't know if I can say it on here, the, the spicy, 
uh, content creation. I took a break from that and I was like, okay, I'll come back to it when I'm, when I have the energy, um, when the house is done, when I'm able to put effort into my content again and when I feel comfortable with my body. Um, that's another side effect of basically becoming disabled at, when did this start, like 1920, um, is my body does not really feel like my own right now. And um, I'm trying to be more accepting of myself because obviously we are the most critical of ourselves, we're our own worst critics, but uh, not gonna lie, it is hard some days, and doing that kind of content creation as a job became very mentally draining for me, and it was really hard to step back from it, and I, saying this now at, as if I've even fully 100% stepped away from it, um, it's hard. It's it was a big part of my life. It was my only source of income for like two over two years. Um and it gave me a sense of like independence in a way because I am not able to work a normal job. Um so having to step back from that, not really at my own uh volition was really hard um so right now those places are a bit up in the air i don't know what i'm gonna do um it honestly really depends on my body and what my physical capabilities are and if my disability is something that i can manage a bit better or if it's just gonna be like this for the rest of my life um it's a bit heavy uh -huh. so those are a bit up in the air for right now um my normal like instagram twitter all of that is still gonna be the same i'm still on there all the time still on tiktok i want to be more active on here even if it's just casual like vlog style videos um because youtube has always been and most likely will always be my favorite platform, my favorite thing to create. I love making videos, I love talking. <laughs> yeah, right now I am not working. It's a bit scary. Um, not scary because we're f like fine and it wasn't like such a big amount of money that it's going to really affect us. It was just more so that I could put money in my savings account and that I could like, you know, contribute to things sometimes. Um, but I just, I can't put the same amount of energy that I was into that right now and that's okay. Life is about change and I hate change but it's, it is what it is. So, we're here, we're gonna make the best of it. Um, so yeah, if you would like to see more videos from me, feel free to subscribe, hang out. Um, I want to do more just like daily life vlog kind of things. Um, also obviously still like fashion stuff, hauls, pet play stuff, all of that. I just want to make a mixture of it because I love YouTube. I'm always on YouTube. That's, that's like the biggest amount of like screen time on my phone um yeah that's basically all i wanted to say just wanted to kind of catch up i love you hope you're doing well um and i'll see you guys later